A rally for victims of drunk driving continues in Owasso tonight. Two News reporter Sarah Goldenberg talks with those involved. Holding signs out here on this corner today is a way these people are remembering their loved ones, hoping others won't experience the same loss. He decided to go on a rafting trip with his friend John for the day and he didn't make it home. Nearly two years ago, Brenda Montgomery lost her 28-year-old son, Aaron Gilming, in a drunk driving accident. The drunk driver held over a 21-year history of uh, drinking and driving, and uh, he was three times over the legal limit when he killed Aaron, my son, and John, both on impact. Montgomery has held a rally for her son and other victims each August since his death. Drunk drivers, they took not only the victims, but they took a huge part of us left behind. We'll never be the same. She started a foundation to help other victims' families in Aaron's honor. Next, Montgomery contacted her state representative to take action. We came up with the Aaron Gilming Act, which is a step. It's not where we really want to go, but we're getting there. The law states a driver caught drinking has to take a mental health and drug assessment after the first offense. If you don't complete the assessment, you don't get your driver's license back. If you're going to drink and drive, if you're going to use a drug and drive, then we're going to throw the book at you. Hi, we're trying to teach people that there's a safer way to party and ride and drive. Several groups have come together in Owasso to fight drunk driving, including the Victims Impact Panel of Oklahoma. Victims' families and emergency responders travel the state telling their stories. We feel that by telling these stories of what have happened to other people, then it will help them to make better choices in the future. Volunteers hope to prevent another loss of life. This is an epidemic, unfortunately, that we can't stop working on, that we have got to continually do rallies and uh, different events to just bring awareness and to let people know that uh, it's never going to be over. Sarah Goldenberg, 2 News, works for you. And organizers say they'll stand on that very corner in Owasso every August in hopes of making a difference.